Hey guys, it's Juliana. So I'm going to be doing a butterfly tutorial and this is hair and makeup. I don't have outfit because the outfit I chose just didn't look good. So starting off with hair, um, the hair is going to be a bun. So I'm starting by brushing out my hair. It looks kind of crazy. And then I'm brushing it back and I'm going to put it into a really high ponytail. Um, I kind of struggle with this because my hair is kind of short, but I managed to do it. But you just want it to be really high, like on the top of your head. Now I'm just brushing out all the bumps because I had a lot of bumps. So now I'm just tying it up with a hair tie and I'm wrapping it around three times. Now I'm taking my bun maker and I'm just putting this over my ponytail. You can also use a sock for this um, or just wrap your hair around. But now I'm spreading my hair out over the bun maker. And this was kind of hard for me because my hair is um, short so I didn't have a lot of it to work with. But I managed... And now that I've secured that with a hair tie, I'm going to take some bobby pins. And this took a lot of bobby pins. It probably won't take as many if you don't have layers or you have longer hair. But I'm just um, pinning back all the hair that was left out when I put the second ponytail in. I think I used about 12 bobby pins, which is a lot. You probably won't have to use that many if you have longer hair. Okay, so now that I'm done bobby pinning, I'm going to take more bobby pins. Actually, I wasn't done bobby pinning. Um, I'm just bobby pinning the back of my head now because it was really high. Now I'm using hairspray, and my hairspray bottle was, like, kind of messed up, and I don't know why, but it was only, like, squirting once, and then I had to, like, twist the cap. But you're just going to hairspray any flyaways out of your face because we don't want any of those. And I'm just hairspraying the bun to make sure I don't have any flyaways in the bun because of my layers. Now I'm taking these um, antenna headband and I'm putting it on to look like butterfly. Now I'm doing the makeup. And first, I'm taking my next Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk, and I'm creating the wing shape around my eyes and my nose. And you're just going to create the wing shape. You can do whatever wing shape you want. Um, you can kind of do it the same way I did here or do a different shape, but I just drew what I wanted for the wings. Now I'm dotting it. Um, because we're going to blend this out to make the wings look more white. So I'm just dotting around and then blending it out with my finger. And I'm stroking forward because we want it to kind of feather out. And just do that around your whole face. Don't worry if you get it in your eyebrows. Um, it won't look that bad. You actually can't really see it if you do get it in your eyebrows. Okay, so now we're done with the base. I'm taking Max All That Glitters and it's 
just a glittery eyeshadow, not glittery, um, shimmery eyeshadow. And I'm using a sponge brush and kind of creating scalloped effect on the edge of the wings. And I'm doing that all around the wings, just using the gold to scallop. And this is not really good lighting here. I had, like, too much light coming in. But, um, it looks better in person. Definitely. doesn't, I don't know. It doesn't show up the way it does in person on camera. Now that we're done with that, you're going to be taking a pink eyeshadow with a flat shader brush. And taking that in between the scallops and stroking it forward. Kind of what you did with your fingers when you were blending out the white dots. And I'm just doing that all around the wings as well. And then near the cheek area, we're just going to have white. And I'm also kind of contouring my nose with the pink. I wanted it to be, I don't know, just kind of prominent. And that's what it looks like. Again, it looks better in person. Now I'm taking the gold on my, no, I'm taking the white on my lid and blending that out. Now I'm taking the gold with the um another flat shader brush and putting that all over my lid and now i'm taking the pink with a fluffy blending brush and putting that in my crease and kind of winging it now i'm taking a clean blending brush brush and blending that out and now i'm doing my mascara with the wet and wild mega lash and now I'm just adding a little more white around my nose and cheek area because I wanted that to stand out more. Now I'm adding this pink lipstick from Wet n Wild and I'm putting that all over my lips. And now I'm adding a pink lip gloss from Hard Candy and I'm adding that all over my lips. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Please don't forget to check out all the other girls, subscribe to Fall Elegance, and all my links will be in the down bar. I love you guys. Bye.